All right, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft. So, as you guys can see, we are creating a new world, and yes, we are playing Feed the Beast. So, we will do this one. Uh, oops. Why is P not working? I'm not sure why capital P is not working. All right. Uh, Hiya. All right. So, little explanation. Um, I was. Excuse me getting my computer readjusted a little bit and unfortunately uh, I kind of lost the save for our previous world so unfortunately we will be having to restart this is kind of just our start of season two so unfortunately we will be completely restarting and no longer have the original world I do actually have access to the original map that I started playing modded Minecraft on on this PC about three years ago at this point in time so I might be making a little update video of that once I get a little bit more free time to do that obviously for right now we are definitely going to have to go ahead and jump in here and uh, just kind of get ourselves going um, forget what button we just pressed oh um, allow access pop back in here back to game alright so as any minecraft series begins we'll go ahead and start by punching some trees as the world loads in around us you all will have to give it a little bit of time to uh, kind of get itself going and yeah so like I said we did end up losing all of the uh, map and everything from the last season so unfortunately we will be having to restart which is no big deal restarting in minecraft is a uh, kind of a um upsetting but uh, a natural thing that occurs from time to time kind of like any game unfortunately you have to uh, start from scratch at some point in time this just being the time we're doing it now and hopefully we have a little bit better of a seed from last time where we were on an island in the middle of nowhere which wasn't really too big of a problem although it would be nice to actually have space and land as we misplace a block but yeah so hopefully we'll be able to explore new mods and you know play with the ones we didn't get a chance to in the last map so a little bit more of expanding on what happened uh, minecraft well not minecraft excuse me because regular minecraft did not is not affected by modded minecraft in any way shape or form but the modded minecraft the ftb server in and of itself they updated the app or the computer download where you can get the mods from FTB and they made it its own app so upon download and all that kind of stuff it's its own entity where the saves are not held together anymore so when you load it up the maps are no longer there now again in, in normal terms more than likely your world would not end up like mine was but I was doing a couple other things and cleaning out my PC because of how much space I've been using game wise and making videos I ended up deleting a couple things thinking stuff would transfer over and it was just unfortunate me not thinking and it happens so yeah like I said we will just kind of be restarting and to be honest with you I'm not too concerned with where we start uh, I don't think that this area would be too bad as any of an area oh got a little bit more lag right here what's that oh, 
That's a rare uh, Pam's craft beehive. Um. Well, we'll go ahead and just kind of start here. Like I said, we'll probably end up moving away from here once we find some place better to build. But figured we'd get ourselves back into it since it's been a while since the last time we played Minecraft. So. But just start off here by getting ourselves together. I'll probably end up turning that auto jump off because I do indeed dislike that function of Minecraft. So we'll go ahead and just hit our inventory real quick. Go ahead and jump all them into oak logs. Grab one of those bad boys. And we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some doors. And we'll just plop these down. Didn't exactly go the way we wanted it to. We'll just try to get it this time. There it is. Okay, so that works. Um, let's go back to our inventory real quick. And bloop, bloop. Uh, just getting a little shack built. All right. Now. The biggest thing is that we have to decide how we want our initial house to be. Again, this is not going to be our main location, but for right now, um, whoop, is that four? We'll go five. All right. All right. There we go. Okay, so I like that as our little beginning area. Let's go ahead and just pop one of those right there, pop one of those right there. Whoops. And jump back up here. And boop. Nothing fancy, just something for us to survive the first day in. I decided to go with something a little different than what I normally go with. Normally I go with my little 4x4 huts, but I figured, different world, let's try something different this time. Let me just toss them right there. Whoop. Alright, well in any event, we can at least start doing that from the inside now. 
I do like that the double door is closed together. That's something I didn't realize happened. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to need to do is get a couple more trees. And just plop them down. Get ourselves some sticks. Get ourselves a pickaxe. And right here in the corner, as good as any. Get ourselves eight pieces of stone real fast. Beautiful. All right. There's that. One piece of charcoal. All right. And we're going to throw one there. One there and toss one down here little bit more stone get ourselves a nice little axe real quick All right, there we go. Going into nighttime, just grab ourselves. Ah, we'll just throw all of them into that, and we'll get 18. See if that'll fill up the remainder of our roof. Didn't really count, but. Beautiful. All right, get one more piece of coal, huh? start oh we got some iron already that's not a bad little find
All right. Well, unfortunately, without being able to get down there all the way. Alright, there we go. Put that in there. All right, get some more of this charcoal to get ourselves some more torture matches. Awesome, look at that. A little bit more charcoal. God, I gotta, you gotta love that, man. Get some shiny, tiny charcoal. Get some actual editions book going on. I'll probably be getting right into Tinker's Construct. I know that's already something I've gotten into in the mod packs previously as my starting point for uh, getting pickaxes. But, man, it's, it's just it's so easy to use it. It's not even... It's kind of ridiculous to not use it. Whoops. Alright, so, but yeah, besides that, our biggest plan is to go ahead and get Tinkerers up and running. Probably get ourselves an Iron Pickaxe, even though it's kind of early, but we'll get all that started. And once we get that started, we'll go ahead and explore a little bit of the area we're around once it becomes daytime. That way we actually can see what's going on. Whoops. Ooh, a little bit more iron. Awesome. Every little bit of iron helps all in the end. Although, obviously, in this mod pack, iron is certainly not everything. Pop 
that down, pop that down. Surprised how low we're getting. I thought we would have ran into the sea at this point in time, but I guess not gonna happen. So that's fine. And you guys will have to forgive me, too. I'm listening to uh, Bloodsport in the background. For those of you who are too young or don't know what the movie is, I definitely suggest you go look it up. Starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's a very, very good movie if you're into any kind of fighting or action movies. Although, be warned, it is not exactly the most um, PG-13 film, so... If you are a little bit squeamish, I would suggest that, uh, you know, you watch at your own risk. Get a little bit of flint right there. Not sure, how do we get a, uh, what is it called? Um... So obviously not or doubling grindstone is that what it is right grind I can't spell grind thank you quartz grindstone apply energetics oh Alright, well, we'll have to get back upstairs, because I need to see what that's called, to be honest with you, to make sure that I'm thinking of the right thing here. We can see mobs in the distance on our little mini map, so that'll be de definitely something we check out here in the near future. Go ahead and jump into some mines. Uh, oh, it's daytime too. That's nice. Um, oh, that's right. It's this. Oh, it is Applied Energistics. Okay. Alright. I just needed to make sure I knew what it was called. Like I said, it's been it's been quite a little while since we played Minecraft. And again, I'm not the uh, end-all, be-all, or know-everything about mods by any means at all. I am definitely a uh, novice when it comes to modded Minecraft. So... In that regards, definitely bear with me, guys, and we will be figuring it out together and, yeah, figuring out what's going on. So, I am kind of interested to see what we got going on here in the local areas. So, we'll just jump around and see what's going on. Some cows. We got a little gravel ravine. A little weird forest we're in, but I do like the biomes. Spruce. Larch. Looks like we're on an island again, which is a little upsetting, but... We do have a different abundance of trees, which is rather nice. Oh, maybe we're not on an island, which is pretty cool. What's this? Slate, huh? That's pretty cool. I like the look of that texture. We might grab some and see what ends up happening. Oh, no, it just stays the same. Alright, I like that. 
I think we can uh, make something work out of this in a little house. A little bit of copper. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. Now it's only one piece, so it's not exactly the best. What's this? Quarried stone? Railcraft. Uh. Alright. Maybe get a little bit of this. Not exactly sure what it does, but Railcraft is definitely going to be something we get into it at some point in time. Definitely not immediately. Getting a little bit more lag as we're rendering the rest of the world in. We definitely have some sheep, so getting ourselves a pair of shears will definitely happen here in the very near future to go ahead and get ourselves some wool. And... Yeah, I would say we have a pretty decent map from the way it looks. We'll go ahead and run back to the house just so we can get back before nighttime. And I'm going to go ahead and use, um, well, I guess in some regards you can kind of call it uh, cheating to a certain degree. But it is something that I have access to without having to use any actual cheats from the game itself. Which is just going ahead and opening up journey maps and being allowed to generate the world around kind of just allows me to kind of skip all the lagging like you're seeing now again it's probably because of settings being reset to standard and I am recording in the background so that is definitely going to be a little bit affected again my computer should be able to handle it it's, I'm, I'm definitely not using a uh, crappy computer by any means it's not the best but it's a uh, definitely a decent computer in its own respects oh, look at that And blood sports just now getting interesting, man. So that'll definitely be uh, something that I'll be talking about as we're playing right now. I'm at the part where the guy's getting ready to steal the golden tooth off the Kumi team mat, and the guy being beat up. And if you don't know what the movie is, you really should check it out. It is a really good movie. Although I know some people are probably a little bit against violence, which I can't really blame you if you are. But, definitely can say, at my age, growing up with all the old movie stars and all the action movies it's definitely something I'm very used to and do kind of enjoy so alright so in any event uh oh that's right and we need to do at railcraft to actually make it work isn't that right is it at or right yeah it is at okay so that's true Alright, that might be something we're definitely going to have to look into later. Uh, for now, though, I'm spelling stuff right. Which, at the same time, we uh, never, can ex nev never expect me to spell anything properly in any uh, decent form. I am definitely not uh, Mr. Spellcheck. I definitely use Spellcheck more than anything else. Central table, there we are. And pattern, wood, and that's right, okay.
Get 16 of those. Little stencil table. All right. All right, it's pattern chest too. Oh wow, it looks different. That's pretty cool. I do like that look 